Hey guys, Richardson here. Welcome back to another how to tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to make a, a glowberry farm. Oh my god, how how do I speak? I forgot how to talk. Okay, so where do I want to build this? Oh no, that's the hardest part. Where are you gonna build it? Uh, I'll just build it over here. It's okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna build like a little. Um, <laughs> I already forgetting what I'm doing. So what we're gonna do is glowberries. Should probably explain what glowberry is. It grows downwards like this. So like cave vines or vines. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have it you can have it two or I think three blocks is fine. We're gonna put an observer looking at the top one. We're gonna put a piston on the bottom one. And then we're gonna put a cobblestone or any block and then a redstone on top, and you're done. Oh, and then you need to have a hopper here, some glass around it, so you can pick it up. I'm just giving you the very simple um, thing. So what? So there's like a one in nine chance of um, a cave vine spawning with the berries, and every time this thing grows, you're gonna have a chance. Now, this is probably not. This is not guaranteed because I'm right clicking with the glowberry. But over time, if I sit here and wait. Like, I don't know how long. I forgot how long this take this takes to grow. But eventually, we'll get some glowberries. I actually recommend this making this, like, a lot bigger. So, you have... So, you know, it's easier to get more. And if you do make it bigger, right? I have a... Instead of doing this redstone nonsense, what we do is... Um, we do what the pro the professional redstoners do and use a target block and a note block. Now I understand why those redstone professionals love this stuff. They do this, and apparently this also works. So now if I take a glowberry and hit this one, it will only it will only trigger this piston. And this just makes it slightly more efficient. I just don't know how much because I really didn't do the math on it. <laughs> I forgot to do math on this. But yeah, it's a 1 in 9 chance for every vine that spawns to have glowberries. And if you have a pretty big enough farm, and you can make this probably taller, just you always got to make this one block further so that when they fall, they don't fall on top of this cobblestone. Unless you want to have hoppers here and make this more complicated, that's your choice. So yeah, eventually you get some... This is like I think this is like this, this is automated, but it's kind of slow. The more bigger you make it, the more faster it'll probably be. But yeah, so two ways of making this farm. This one's sli slightly more expensive. And yeah, anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button down below. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for more weird videos like this one. I don't know why I'm like three years late on this. When did they, is, is, this is like 1.17, right? 1.17 or 1.18? And I'm making this in 1.20. Yeah, I'm just such a professional. I completely forgot about these. That's that's not my fault, okay? <laughs> so yeah, anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more weird videos like this one. And yeah, anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this video. And bye guys. I actually really thought one of these would grow by now. I think they're slower than sugarcane and the other farms. Oh wow. <laughs>